Hey guys, it's the Black Lily, bitch. And in this video, I'm going to show you some things that I learned or I was taught early on when I started playing Tekken. Um, and I think you're going to find, if you're a beginner, you're going to find it extremely useful. Um, so this is really for, it really can be applied for any character, but um, this is mainly for my Lily mains. Um, Lily gang gang. Okay, so. Today, I'm going to show you button mapping. So if you already know what that is, you already do it. You can watch, you can skip this video, don't even watch it. But if you don't know what that is, or you've never heard of it, or you're not really sure how it applies, basically what button mapping is, it's basically kind of like, um, I don't even know how to describe it. It's basically like rearranging your buttons or assigning, no, it's assigning, um, triggers to different buttons if that makes sense you'll understand it once i show it to you but um basically it's something that i do it's made learning tekken and lily so much more easier for me there are still so many things that i'm still trying to master um with um controls and um inputs it's just some like it's like going into do glide that's hard for me um, cancellations are hard for me and things like that um, so this is kind of like something that you can just kind of like use to kind of like take one more thing off of your off the table right just to ease the load right so you're gonna go to options and you're gonna go you're gonna go oh my gosh you're gonna go to controller setup so this is mine I'm actually gonna restore it to default settings so if you've never done button mapping, this is probably what it looks like um, or what it should look like. As soon as you open up Tekken, you've made no customization, you haven't done anything to it, this is what it looks like. So you have your left punch is square, your right punch is triangle, your left kick is X, and your right kick, right kick is circle, and then your grab is like square X, um, and then the other grab is um, triangle circle, right? That's fine. I leave those alone. Um, but then we get into like square triangle, like LPRP, this is square triangle, this is X circle, this is square circle, and this is X triangle. So like for Lily, um, like her Matterhorn, Matterhorn this is going to be right here, X circle, um, her mirror image, right? So what I mean is, um, these are her XO moves, right? And for me, I have fat ass fingers. Maybe that's what it is. But like, I can feel like when I'm pressing um, multiple inputs at, at once or simultaneously, I can feel like an X going down faster than the circle. And like a lot of times I'll, um, I'll miss an input and the move won't come out right. And it's just like, fuck, right? So basically what I do is I assign these inputs to simpler buttons. So for example, I'm going to show you what I do. This is what I've been using ever since I started playing Tekken. You can customize it however you want to and like whatever makes more sense for you, whatever feels more natural to you. But this is what I do and this is how I um, use Lily. So these all stay the same, right? But when I get to LP and RP, and like um, LK, RK, like going straight down, I'm gonna press R1, R2, L1, L2. And then this right here, this right here, LP, RP, LK, RK, this is basically your Kai charge. And I assign that to L3, and then my Rage R is R3. So again, you can choose to lay it out however you want to. You can do like a R2, R1 or whatever. Um, whatever feels more comfortable for you for whatever reason. So I'm gonna go ahead and save these, right? Firm. And then I'm gonna show you what it looks like when you're actually using your character. So again, this is mainly Welcome for the Lily mains. The Iron Fist Tournament 7. Lily. Gonna choose my Beyonce mod or customization. Asuka Kazama. All right. Get ready for the next battle. 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 
So as you can see right there, Rage R is X circle, and then the Rage Drive is down forward X uh, triangle, right? I don't even know how people fucking press. Like, how do you how do you press that mid battle? Like, my fingers don't even work that way, right? Okay, so as I mentioned before, let me turn on my command history. Oh, it's already on. Okay, cool. Okay, so normally to do moves like mirror image, you press back um, X circle, and that just feels so unnatural to me. But that's what you would do, right? If you want to do black backflip, you would do down forward X, um, X circle. Again, that feels so unnatural to me. I don't know why. Again, this is like it's just not how how I learned Tekken. Um, so maybe that's why it feels unnatural to me. But um, if you're just starting out, this can be something that you can kind of start doing earlier on, and it might really help you. So. Um, what else? Matterhorn is down X circle. So all these moves are like, you, you get what I'm talking about. Bypass all that. It's so much more simpler to do down R2, back R2, down forward R2, right? To me, at least. So basically, this is why button mapping is so important. It just kind of takes like all the guesswork, all the hard work out of like trying to find all these buttons and, you know, like period so i strongly suggest if um if you feel like finding the inputs or or like the your input accuracy is kind of off try button mapping it's gonna allow you to progress um so much more um quicker and i really like when i'm using lily i R2 is like my holy grail. I'm mirror image, backflip, Matterhorn, um, divine step. Like I'm really, R2 is so like, it's so much more easy, right? And even sometimes like, um, so like if you're back turn, R2 is like that. Um, and what else? So down R1, right? Power crush, easy. These are like really like really essential moves that are just like assigned to your R2, R1, and as I said before, Kai charges L3. Um, if you wanted to do your Rage Art, it's a simple R3. Now, what I will say is the only thing that I don't like about, and it's really not like a big deal, because to be honest, like if you're winning, you're trying you're you're not really trying to get into like rage art mode anyway. So the only thing that I don't like though is sometimes when you are in rage art mode, that R2 is gonna boom. And so like sometimes I'll try to do a backflip, I'll try to do a mirror image, I'll try to do something along the lines of that R2 or that XO button, right? And it'll go into rage art instead. So you have to be like a lot of times what I do, I don't like I just get rid of it. L2, Rage Drive, just get rid of that shit. Like, I don't need it. Just get rid of it, so I don't have to worry about it no more. As soon as I get into Rage Art, I just, even if it's not going to land, I just want to get rid of it. So I don't have to worry about it messing up my buttons and my accuracy and all these, you know, all these different things, right? So again, um, really short video. Just wanted to show you guys this um, neat little tool. Um, hopefully you guys find it useful. I appreciate all the love and support that you guys are giving me. Um, and if you want more videos like this, definitely let me know. Um, I remember how hard it was for me. Like, it was... Man. <laughs> I don't know what it's like for you guys, but, like, when I was introduced to Tekken, the people who introduced me to the game, they would not go easy on me. They would not give me any type of slack. So I know how frustrating it is when you are just starting, starting out and you feel like everyone else is just so much more advanced and it's just like, fuck. So definitely, um, if you find this useful, definitely let me know. I really like um, supporting the Lily gang, y'all. Again, this is the Black Lily and thank you guys so much.